go in place. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You be seated. Today's theme is obviously giving thanks to the Lord, being Thanksgiving, right, for our, our dinner we're having today. And if you remember a few years ago, we had that, so we had dinner outside and how nice it was. And, and uh, what a blessing it's going to be again today to be able to have a, an outside dinner. Um, we we'll really enjoy those. Uh, we're going to start with Psalm 107, 8. It'll be on the board here. It says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Amen for that. You know, a lot of times in our lives, we probably think we get in a bad situation that we don't understand. We think our situation is unique. That no one's ever been in the situation we've been in and no one, and no one could possibly understand it. But the truth is, there's nothing new under the sun for God. That thought is untrue and put there by the enemy. There's nothing unique, there's nothing new that hasn't already happened that there's not an answer for. He has heard it all before, and he's listening to you right now. In terms of the trials in our lifetime, even dry period, spiritual, physical imprisonment, sickness, storms, turmoil, all kind of trials come at us. Uh, fear, you know, uh, my dear brother and sister here just had their little granddaughter, you know, she was left behind in the hospital because she was such a sick little baby, you know. But praise God, she's home now, you know, and that's a, that's a trying time. Some things bring us closer to God, some things make us wonder where God is, you know. Um, but uh, praise God for the baby coming home, and, and that's just another, another appreciation of what we have. You know, we need to appreciate those we love, because sometimes they just don't come home with us. Now, there is nothing new under the sun. The Word of God confirms this in Ecclesiastes 1.9. It says, What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. When we cry out to God from the depths of our soul, He is ready to answer our prayers according to His will and purpose over our lives. And realize according to His will and purpose over our lives. We don't always need what we ask for. Sometimes we do, and he knows if we do or not. A psalm in Israel, Psalm 107, gave four examples of God's deliverance of his people. They have wandered in the desert. Some have been imprisoned. Some have been afflicted with illness and were near death. And some have been endangered by storms on the sea. In each case, he intervened and delivered those who were in need. Every time. Four times the psalmist extorted the people, oh, that men would give thanks to God, to the Lord, for his goodness. So every time there was a turmoil, he would give that, he would extort that. And we should take this final challenge to heart. Psalm 107.43 says, Whoever is wise will observe these things, and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. God hears our prayers and knows our needs, so let's not complain about the ones we don't have. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in what we don't see or don't have, and those things seem to overtake us. But in reality, we need to be thankful for what we do have, because we have, a, we have a lot more than we want to lose as it is. So we should start celebrating the blessings that we do have. That's what the day is about. That's what appreciation is about. On this Thanksgiving Day celebration, that we are celebrating today, let us be grateful for the gift we have together on this day of celebration. For our bountiful blessings we share together as one family in Christ Jesus. But I do understand that there is a lot of reasons to get sad and happy this time of season. As I spent some time reflecting through my pictures of Thanksgivings of the past, I was at first sad. Because I not there was not one Thanksgiving in the past that, that I went through the pictures that someone I loved and wasn't here anymore. And I seen that person in that picture. And it really made me sad, you know. Uh, because of all that I loved and lost. But then I realized God came on me and I realized right then just how important these times are for us to share together. I realized what it really meant. And I realized just how special all of us are. Each one of us is truly special. 
And what a wonderful day it is right now here with each other. And I say thank you, Father God, for these special moments we get to share together. I thank God for this. These are the rewards of God's grace. These are the true blessings from the Father. These most special moments that we share together. An old time minister named Billy Sunday said, kind of a, kind of a hick saying, but it sure fits in, yank some of the groans out of our prayers and shove in some shouts. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Right now I'm going to pray. I pray us out and pray over the bill that we're going to take. Uh, Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to, to, to worship you today, Father God, to come together and celebrate you and break bread in your honor and the honor of your son, Jesus Christ. We ask that you'll bless this meal that we're taking. We thank you for this meal. We thank you for all you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us begin.